Good morning, it's Tony here at Smart Motors Toyota in Madison, Wisconsin. Hey, today I found and am going to do a quick walk around on this brand new 2020 Toyota Corolla LE edition. Now I know what you're thinking, LE, that's the base model. Why would anybody want to see a video on a base model? Well, I have to push back on that because the base model for most vehicles is the best selling vehicle. So I'm going to show you today on this LE what you could get on a basic Toyota Corolla for just over $21,000. Okay, beginning up front on the Corolla LE, I want to point out the great big bold grill on this, kind of a matte finish with a piano black surround trim right there. Looks really nice on this. Bear in mind, this is really the entry level Corolla and I'm gonna show you some standard features that you wouldn't get on most entry-level vehicles in the marketplace, particularly an entry-level priced vehicle like the Corolla LE. So your headlights, these are bi-directional LED headlights and LED marker lights. Daytime running lights are standard. And you'll also notice we have a color to match front bumper. So the bumper is the same color as a car. For a lot of entry-level vehicles in this category, you get a white car, you get gray bumpers. You get a blue car, you get gray bumpers. But not on the Corolla LE. Standard equipment includes these 16-inch steel wheels with vinyl wheel covers. Now, what I said was a 16-inch wheel and tire. Most cars in this class come with a 15-inch. Four-wheel disc brakes with disc brakes up front drum brakes in the rear. Your outside mirrors, of course, they're colored to match as well. So white mirrors on a white car, not typical for an entry level vehicle. You'll also notice we do have colored match door handles. Regardless, if this was a blue car, these would be blue handles. Not the case on all entry level cars. And then we have a colored to match shark fin antenna. So a really nice refined style, not a generic look, even though we're looking at the entry level Corolla. Coming around to the back, once again, we have LED tail lights. We have an LED third brake light. We also have a standard backup camera right up under there. Chrome badging for Corolla and the LE and a crystal clear lens for your tail light assembly. So the exterior of this vehicle does not look generic. Definitely looks like an upscale car, and you can see why it's such a great seller. Let's go ahead and swing around, jump into the driver's seat, and see what we can find. Okay, before we jump in the driver's seat, let's just stop here on the door real quick, take a look at some of the features. There's a cloth line armrest, power windows all the way around, power door locks, and power mirrors and then this brushed aluminum looking door handle on the side with bottle holders and a speaker in the door. So not your generic interior, that's for sure. Turning to the inside, we do have a remote gas door release and trunk release right there. And then the Corolla has a lot of great safety features on it, including automatic headlights for at night, a tilting and telescoping steering wheel, standard, your driver's seat uh, is a manual driving driver's seat with forward and backward movement, a height adjustment, and a recliner. And then the seats themselves, these are a graphite cloth interior, so a light gray with graphite speckles. And then as you move up the seat, a full graphite back, so kind of a two-tone seat arrangement. And it is a, bol a bolstered seat, so it's more of like a, a bucket seat, if you will. And then the headrest, are adjustable up and down and part of the safety an adjustable height adjustment for your seat belt as well now you'll see here on the seat I've got laying the keyless entry okay so it's a re remote keyless entry with kind of that switch bit blade effect and then you do have a trunk release and also the panic button there as well so you get keyless entry on the standard equipment LE Let's jump in the driver's seat and see what we can find. 
So here we are in the driver's seat. The steering wheel is the new Toyota three-spoke steering wheel. Got all our controls over here for our information center, which is up in the center, up over here. That's a 4.2 inch information center. We do have Bluetooth connectivity, by the way, and fingertip controls for your sound system and voice activation. So you can use voice commands as well. Over on this side, we've got cruise control, lane departure detection, our uh, automatic braking system sensitivity adjustments, and then your different modes for your sound system, and you can change your radio stations right here on the steering wheel, all standard on the LE. Headlight controls are over on this side right here, and we do have those automatic headlights, which turn themselves from bright to dim automatically, and then you can also set them to go off automatically, and then we have daytime running lights as well. And over on this side are the wiper controls, and we do have intermittent adjustments for those as well. Now turning our attention to the gauge cluster, you can see on the left hand side is the tachometer, the temperature gauge, speedometer with a nice brushed aluminum bezel, and your gas um, needles right there. And here's your information center over on the right hand side. You can see I've got two doors open, so it'll let you know when you leave doors open or um, if a door is ajar or something like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and start it up and all of our systems check each other really quickly to make sure everything's working properly. And you can see over back over on the right hand side, there's a gear indicator, your odometer, and then this here tells us how many people in the back seat do not have their seat belt on, all three of them in the case of what, what we have right now because there's no passengers. And it's also showing me that the doors are open. So if I go ahead and close that driver's door, that indicates the driver's door is now closed. Nice safety feature for sure. Moving across over to our center stack. So we do have the Entune Amps app suite, which you can set up when you take delivery. So I'm just gonna tap later. Um, this is an eight inch touchscreen system. And we've got our menu with our audio, our phone, our apps, projection and such. We can switch over to our audio system, which is AM, FM, and we also have Bluetooth. It is uh, Apple CarPlay compatible and uh, works with Siri as well. Um, you can set up the mapping navigation system as a separate feature. And uh, these are all the controls for the sound system. And you can go over here and set up your app suite as well. As we move down the center, um, we've got that piano black trim that we see on some of our upscale vehicles. And then the heating and air conditioning system is automatic. And so it's only driver's controls for the automatic, but not something you would typically find um, in an entry level vehicle. So I think that's a big bonus on here. And then we have, of course, rear window defrost, but we also have heated outside mirrors. So your outside mirrors, which are painted and foldable, also have a heating element in there to get the ice and frost off of those as well. As we move down the center console, we come across the CVT automatic transmission with a piano black trim here and then the, the brushed aluminum trim piece here. So very nice upscale look to that. Here, I'm just gonna turn on the light here so you can see, there's your traction control on and off. There's a storage bin right up here. And then we do have a USB charging port right here and a three and a half uh, millimeter plug as well. So you can plug in your electronics and you can plug in your music player as well. On the center console, we do have dual cup holders here. And then I mentioned earlier, we've got bottle holders in the doors and speakers. Now this vehicle has actually a six speaker sound system. So in the front doors, in the back deck, and then there's a couple of them up in the, um, up in the dashboard as well. The uh, center console does have a, an armrest. It's stationary, probably big enough for one arm unless you want to share. And then the storage compartment itself does have a 12 volt outlet there and a 2.1 amp charger there. So you can plug in your phone and your electronic devices there as well. And then we'll take a look at our glove box. 
Nice full-size glove box. Of course, it does come with the owner's manual and the warranty manuals are all in there. Passenger assist grips up in the front and the back and a place to hang your dry cleaning. And then your visors fold down, have mirrors and lighted vanity mirrors, which is not something you typically find on the entry level. And then also extensions for our visors. So a ton of standard amenities, safety features, and comfort and convenience features. Overhead dome lights, and we do have Safety Connect, of course. And the uh, Corolla does come with Safety Sense 2.0, and also the Star Safety System. You can read all about that on our website, but um, some of the best safety features you'll find in any car can be found standard in the Toyota Corolla. Let's jump into to the back seat and see what we can find there. Okay, jumping into the back seat, just real quickly on the doors, again, a cloth armrest versus a full vinyl armrest. And there's a little storage compartment right here that you can slide a bottle of water in, small bottle of water, I guess. Uh, you can see I have the rear seat folded down. So this is 40%. Of course, you could fold the whole thing down if you wanted to, but I've just got 40% right now. The back headrests are not adjustable, they're stationary. So you can't move them up and down but I've got this front seat folded all the way for, or pushed all the way back, and I was still able to fold those seats down. Um, center armrest does have cup holders here, and then if you bring that up, you'll see that we do have room for three passengers. I would say three small kids, two adults. Um, there are anchors down here for the kiddo seats, child safety seats, and um, I'm just gonna jump in and show you how much leg room there is for me now bear in mind i'm kind of a shorty i'm five foot seven and that seats all the way back and you can see i've got oh probably about three to four inches of leg room it's comfortable i could ride to chicago in the back but i wouldn't want to ride to california uh, your center console just has a small storage compartment right here uh, there's no um, charging ports in the back seat at all um, which I think is kind of a miss for Toyota. They could have done that. But there is a pocket on the back of this seat for maps and magazines and what have you. Um, generally, I would say it's a pretty comfortable back seat. Here's a quick look at the driver's compartment from the back seat. And then there's one more thing I want to point out about the back seats that I think is kind of a miss for Toyota. So I mentioned that the back seats fold down, but the only way to fold them down is all the way over here. You've got to reach your hand up here behind the armrest, and there's a button right there. When you push that, you can drop it down. What I can't figure out is why Toyota didn't put the button on this side. Um, it seems like it could have been an easy win. Um, it might be a safety thing, but I'm, I've seen cars that have them on this side. So Toyota next year, move it over to this side. It's the same for that seat over there too. So I think Toyota could do a better job on those fold down seats. And you have no way of folding them down from the trunk. Okay, we're gonna go in the trunk, but I did wanna point out your remote control has a release for the trunk. Just hold it down and it'll pop open. So there you go. It is a very big trunk for the size of this car. Um, it's got a nice depth to it, and there's your fold-down seats, but there's no way to fold down the seats from back here. There is a cargo light right up underneath there, and I think it's tall enough for a nice big suitcase or two, so I don't think that'll be a problem. And you should be able to fit your golf clubs in there if you lay them across the back. Like so, I'm guessing you should be able to get at least two sets of golf clubs in there. Now this one does come with the all season floor mat package. That's the only accessory on this car, 249. That takes it up almost to 22,000. There's your spare tire, your jack, your tool assembly. Tires tucked under there. You should be able to fit a set of jumper cables and maybe a blanket or something like that for emergency situations. Um, but there's plenty of room for that emergency stuff down under there, like so. 
And then finally, you'll notice, Toyota really pays a lot of attention to de detail. This is a felt line trunk deck lid um, protector, which some cars don't have those. Um, this helps keep the car quieter, but it also protects against dents from the inside out. And then there's an emergency release handle for the trunk as well, which is glow in the dark. So a lot of attention to safety on the Toyota Corolla, which you normally wouldn't expect on an entry level vehicle. Under the hood on the Corolla LE is the standard 1.8 liter four cylinder gasoline engine. And that's connected to a CVT automatic transmission Fuel economy is uh, 33 miles per gallon, city and highway combined. The engine and the transmission are covered under a five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty. And then every Toyota does come standard with Toyota Care, which covers your basic maintenance for two years, 25,000 miles. And then of course you get a three year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. So there you go, the brand new 2020 Toyota Corolla LE. Super white in color, graphite gray cloth interior. This is your entry level LE edition, priced out at just over 21,000, not including dealer discounts, not including manufacturer rebates, simply your window sticker little over $21,000. Hey, if you'd like to take one for a spin, please give us a call, stop by. We've got a great selection. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe our channel. This is Tony at Smart Motors Toyota. Thanks for watching.